We have two robots that meet and mate, and just as in the animal kingdom, this results in a baby. Well, as a biologist, I'm skeptical. We're trying to recreate life in a lab with mechanical components. Of course I'm skeptical, but I also see the vast potential here. This is totally new. This is something that's not been done before. Here on the VU, we have two lines of research about evolutionary robotics. One is about the mind, the software of the robots. We want to make robots smarter by using evolutionary processes. So I investigate the evolution of the mind of the robot. With evolutionary techniques, we evolve the neural networks of the robots, that are the behaviors of the robots. The other aspect concerns the body, the morphology of the robots. We work with modular robots. They don't have legs, they are not humanoid. In fact, you may not even recognize them as robots. Body design is uh, introduced from the work of Josh Auerbach from Switzerland. Most of the body parts are uh, 3D printable, but some of them uh, need to be uh, assembled together with those components so we can have a fully functional robot. And how they learn is through a fitness function. The better they are in their fitness, um, the more chance they have of reproducing and then they become better and better over time. So as a biologist, I'm interested in the evolution of form and function. The robot lab is an opportunity and a technology for us as evolutionary biologists to study fundamental processes. A robot is born, if you will. This may sound a bit, a bit funny, but um, a, robot, a, a new robot is instantiated from the genomes of its parents. So its parents have exchanged genomes, just as you would if you had sex in nature, right? Um, and that is used to, do, to build a new robot. The way robots learn now is by the designer giving them a motivation to learn. The way we do that in the Robot Baby project is giving them the motivation to walk towards the red light. This means that the, both robots go towards the red light and there they can communicate and mate. When they evaluate each other favorably, they send their genomes through the Wi-Fi network. Sexual reproduction mechanism then creates new genome. Uh, code of this genome is sent to the 3D printer then for printing new components. On the 19th of February 2016, the first robot baby was born. In our labs, a couple of hand-designed robots that were walking in the arena, they physically came closer, they met, if you will. They started to negotiate with each other, dating, if you wish, and then it happened. They decided to have a child. What does it all mean? It means a proof of concept. And the concept we prove is the evolution of robots in physical hardware. For science, this means that artificial evolution can break out of computer simulations and enter the real world.